going. Sam Strachan, yeah? Hold on. Sorry, can I ask a school thing? Susie. Hold on. I'll take her. She's Connie Beecham. Yes, the Connie Beecham. No, I'm afraid he's not here. He's left the department. Yes, well, it was a shock to us, too. Kazakhstan. Mm, no, I'm afraid he didn't. Well, that's Mr. Strachan all over, isn't that? Uh, passionate, committed, impulsive. No problem. Bye. Thank you, I think. My very great pleasure. Obviously. I have a proposition for you, Mr. Strachan. Yes? How does training rep on the SD committee sound to you? That... <laughs> Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's uh, quite a... Vote of confidence, I think, is the phrase you're looking for. Anyway, I've already put your name forward. Oh. Yes, I think if anyone knows what it's like on the front line of registrar training, it's you. Mm-hmm. Is there a problem? Well, uh, it's just things haven't always gone smoothly between us, and uh, there might be issues I'd be raising, which... You think I won't be able to take constructive criticism well? I suppose I agree. Things have been a bit bumpy from time to time, and that is in part my fault. Too much stick and not enough carrot. I'm not a donkey, Mrs. Beecham. Mm. Well, no, um, it'd be great. I'd be honoured. Yeah. And, I mean, you're the boss. Well, exactly. You see, my fiendish plan is working already. OK, um, it does look like a team of some sort. Would you sit forward for me, please? You've been ill all this time. And I thought it was just... I've known three people have killed themselves, Dad. People I've met in psych wards. But I've never wanted to do that. Even when there's like 20 voices in my head telling me to. Don't make them right. Depending on what kind of tumour it is and how far it's spread, Prognosis might be a lot better than we think. When will you know? Well, we'll do a bronchoscopy straight away. I think this has been left untreated for long enough. It's important that Guy doesn't have any more uncertainty. What's a bronchoscopy? We put you to sleep, slide a camera down your throat, into your windpipe and then into your lung. You can put a camera inside my body. Okay. Yes, Guy. But this time they're doctors, not aliens. Yes, Dad. I'm not a complete fruitcake. Yeah. Origin of the left upper lobe bronchus. Mm, close to the opening of the left lower lobe, by the looks of it. <sighs> Poor guy is fighting off delusions. He's got evil forces inside, and he waits up in a whacking great tumour on his lung. Biopsy forceps, please. So, what course of action would you propose? It doesn't seem to have spread. Okay, a lobectomy should do the trick. A lobectomy? I wouldn't want to take out the whole lung, would you? Well, to prevent a reoccurrence of the tumour, most definitely. He's 29 years old. I mean, losing lung is going to tie him down for the rest of his life. Surely we should take a stage-by-stage -stage approach. A complete pneumonectomy would be the simplest and the safest option, given his particular circumstances. You mean his state of mind? Guy Heron does not have the mental resilience to endure multiple surgical intervention. Keep going. Do you have something to say, Matron Williams? Me, no. Well, I'm sure Mrs. Strachan and I would like your opinion. Well, I'm sure it's a surgical decision, but I don't understand what his schizophrenia has to do with this. Right. Well, thoracic surgery is frightening and disorientating for the best of us. It's not ideal for someone who is acutely paranoid and delusional. We have to consider the consequences of pulling Guy through something like that. Would you not agree? There are arguments both ways. Yeah, some are better than others, though. Cheese. On balance, I suppose you're right. Good answer. I'll go with that. That's a big enough chunk, thank you. Can we get this off to histology? I'd like the results as soon as possible, please. I'll finish up. Right, I've uh, got a meeting till six. OK, let's get him booked in for a pneumonectomy. I think there's a slot for you tomorrow. All right? Thank you. Mm. Thanks a lot. Ah, to ignore her. It's just her way. And you're blameless, are you? What? Well, I was beginning to think I could rely on you. Give me a break, Chrissy. I'm still kind of on probation here. I have to toe the line. Hmm. 
Any, uh, any sign of Mrs. Beecham yet? You're gonna have to make a start. Scissors, please. You have done a pneumonectomy before. Oh, yes. I'm in the pool. I've assisted on dozens. All right, yes, I've done them for TB, not for cancer, but the procedure's basically the same. Yeah. Where have I heard this before? Well, uh, trust me, I'm a reformed character, OK? Well, you need to get cracking, then. We need to get this bleed sorted. Yeah, oh, uh, OK, let's get the lobe isolated. Oh, that doesn't look like a pneumonectomy to me. I know what you said. Look, that is completely localised. Do you, uh, think we make this stuff up for fun? <laughs> no. Right answer. I decreed a pneumonectomy specifically because this kind of dissection increases the chances of the tumour spreading. I haven't touched the tumour. Small mercies. I can't feel any tumour in the lower lobe. Shut up for discussion. OK, if you can... If you compare the scan to what we can actually see with our own eyes, surely we have to amend our prognosis. This is exactly what I thought I'd see. I don't see how it can be. Oh, sorry, you know better than me. It's not about that. No, well, whilst you yet again flout the conventions of courtesy, ethics and basic professionalism, that is exactly what it's about. It's about the patient. Sorry, you're questioning me. Scissors, please. As you were. I don't think Mr. Strachan's methods of getting his own way have changed since he was six. Well, if you don't mind, I have to get on with the tricky healer dissection. Me particularly tricky by Mr. Strachan's fun and games. Right, I think I'm going to have to take this out with my fingers. Bang. Connie, please. I don't want to hear it. And it's Mrs. Beecham. You've got this all wrong. No, you've got it wrong. If you won't even listen to me. Do you care at all for the outcome of our patient? Of course I do. Right, let's go and find Mr. Heron and get the easy part over with. Mr. Heron. What's happened? There were complications. He's dead, isn't he? No, no, he's fine. In fact, the prognosis is really rather good. No. No, no. No. Mr. Heron? It's okay. He's very tired. <laughs> Trevor? Well, um, as I was saying, we had planned to take out the whole lung. But in the course of the operation, we discovered that the tumour was attached to the pulmonary artery. The lung was relatively clear. We had to remove some of Guy's lung, but not all of it. So I was right. You were certainly not right. If I'd gone wading in, taking out the guy's lung, then... The simple abectomy was not the solution. So we were both wrong. Oh, don't think for a minute this gets you off the hook. D you know what? I've had enough of this. Where are you going? I'm on call tonight. I need to catch some kip. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it in the morning. Frankly, I'm past caring. Mr. Strachan! I'm on a break. Nobody walks away from me. This is harassment. Believe it or not, I came here to make peace. Oh, please. Don't go all soft-hearted on me. Right, I accept my part in this, OK? It'd be good if you met me halfway. Well, ring the bells. There are rules. There are rules and there are protocols. I'm just not the guy who does something because it's chiselled in a tablet of stone. You know what? I'm proud of that. Perhaps I should go to Kazakhstan. Oh, that's a cop out. You're a good surgeon. Hmm? You're a good surgeon, but it's my job to make you a great one. Well, as long as I run around like a little mini me worshipping your shadow. Are you deliberately provoking me into ending your career? Well, maybe. Because that's how you operate, isn't it? What? Confrontation, humiliation. You know what? I'm not interested. Oh, I thought you were stronger than that. Oh, well, from what I hear, you more or less killed the last guy. <sighs> OK. Now we're both in a mess. Don't worry. I'll tend to my resignation first thing in the morning. I just want to get out of here. No. No, don't. <laughs> 